Hi, this is Richard Quack here, coming to you live from Malaysia. I would like to welcome you to my weekly live video. And in today's session, I would like to talk about marketing. And the topic is, what is attraction marketing about? Now, this is a very important topic if you are involved with any sort of marketing outside there. Now, do you ever wonder why some people get prospects flocking to them? That means prospect chasing after them. They get loads of prospect chasing after them. The reason is because they know how to use attraction marketing. Now, let's have a look at attraction marketing versus push marketing. Now, when you use push marketing, that means you become a hunter. You, ch you are chasing after prospect because you are a hunter, you're chasing after prospect. Now, push marketing previously used to work, but today, you know, it, it does not work anymore. All right, push marketing example is when you are chasing after prospect, that means you send the marketing message to your prospect, you push it in front of them. A good example is email marketing. Okay, you push it in front of the prospect. In fact, when you are using social media marketing as well, you are pushing it in front of prospect as well. Okay, now basically, uh, let's have a look at uh, attraction marketing then. Attraction marketing is when you are being hunted. People are chasing after you, which is easier than you chasing after people. Isn't it true? Okay, what is attraction marketing then? These are strategies to bring the right people to you. It is important to bring the right people to you, to attract the right people to you. You attract people by how you brand yourself and the value you provide. Important, how you brand yourself and the value that you provide. Okay. Now, what is important, especially if you're on social media, what they see on your page, blog and social media is very, very important. When somebody visit your page, they must have the impression that you are not chasing after them. That means you're providing value and you're helping people. That is what uh, attraction marketing is about. Now, you connect with the right audience and provide value to them. Remember, the right audience and you provide value to them. And you focus on their problem. You focus on them rather than on yourself, but you focus on them. That means you focus on how to solve their problem. Because we are problem solver. Don't you think so? We are problem solver. We earn by helping people solve their problem, not by pushing problem to them. Now, let's have a look at some of the areas that uh, uh, we can look at. Number one, your online presence is very, very important. When you are doing online, then your presence is very important. All your online presence must be positive and consistent across all platforms. Whatever you use whatever platform, whether it's social media or whether it's blog or whether it is a website, it must be positive and consistent across all platforms. That means it must be consistent. All right, it must be similar. That means it must be positive and whatever you post or whatever you write must be consistent. It must be genuine and authentic as well because if you're not genuine, then people don't trust you. So you got to be genuine and authentic. Because they will help you to uh, uh, gain rapport with people, to build rapport with people. Okay? Now, your focus is on building a strong and unique brand. Branding is very important, especially on the internet and social media. So, you focus on building a strong and unique brand. Be genuine. That's important. Be genuine. That means be yourself and tell people the truth. All right? Don't lie to people, you know, and so on, but be genuine. On social media, consistency is important, branding is important, and visually appealing is also important. That means you got to appeal to people, especially, you know, uh, uh, if you're on social media, your profile is very, very important. It attracts people to you or it rejects people from you. So that means uh, your profile photo, your cover photo, and so on, especially on Facebook, it must be consistent. It must be able to attract people to you. It, representing, it is representative of your personality, the information on your profile page and your About Me page as well. Now, especially if you are on Facebook, right? Now, 
whatever you put there, your profile picture, your cover photo, and what you write about yourself, your about me page must be able to create trust and rapport. All right, what you write is very important there. Now, number two, beside online presence, is capturing leads. It is important to be able to capture it, like I always mention, right? Especially on social media, you know, you got to bring people away from the social media to your list. That is important because in social media, it will it does not belong to you. All the leads and all the friends, all the followers, they don't belong to you. They belong to the social media platform. So you got to bring them out from the uh, social media platform and into your lead capture page so you got to capture people here if you want to capture leads that is very simple you got to have a lead magnet okay lead magnet you got to have a capture page or a squeeze page all right and then you've got to have an auto responder as well these are some of the components which i'm not going to go through in detail so the second one is uh capturing lead remember the first one is your online person your second one is uh capturing leads the third one how does it help them it's important because people are there to solve their problem. You see, how does it help them is that you got to be seen as an expert. It's important. People are looking for people who can assist them. So you got to be seen as an expert. So whatever you do, you must have confidence and you got to give value to people. All right. So that you are, are seen as an expert. Now, it also depends on the value you provide. Very important. What are the value that you provide to people? To your friends, to your followers, and so on. It is a matter of uh, uh, providing value rather than chasing them, all right, trying to push a, a sale to them or asking them to join your program and so on. Basically, you have to provide value for people because I see, especially on social media like Facebook, right, a lot of people, the moment they, they, they friend you, they send all the offers to you, you know, uh, they got a standard question that they ask you, right? So basically, it is all trying to push. That is what we call push marketing. All right, you, you don't even know who they are. You didn't even build rapport with them. And you start pushing uh, uh, marketing messages to them. That does not work. So you got to provide value to people so that people see you as an expert and people trust you. Remember, people must know you, like you, and then trust you. So basically, uh, what is important, especially on social media, is you got to be doing your postings regularly, posting things that are of value. It can be... Uh, uh, you know, a value post, it can be a, uh, uh, what do you call, a lifestyle post and so on, you know. And posting is very important. How many times you post a week, uh, a day, maybe once, at least once a day or two times a day, all right. And you got to have engagement as well because in social media like Facebook, it is not the number of friends that is important. It is the engagement that is important because when you have a lot of engagement, then uh, the social media platform like Facebook will favor you with the algorithm, okay? So in, engagement is important. When you talk about engagement, it is going to people's page or people's post to engage with them, to comment, to like, and so on. So it's important because you want people to come to your post and like and share and comment. So you have to go to people's uh, uh, post and do the same thing first, all right? And uh, the other thing that I think that is very important uh, but to provide value and to uh, create trust is to do a Facebook Live. Like what I'm doing now here is a Facebook Live. You don't have to do a Facebook Live every day. Probably for a start, you know, do a uh, once a week. Right? It's not difficult. Only thing you have to get used to it. That's all. All right. I, I did some uh, uh, session on how to create a Facebook Live and so on, which you can watch later on or you can go back to the past and have a look at the uh, live video, okay? So basically, doing a Facebook Live is important because when you do a Facebook Live, you are providing value for free, all right? Like here, I'm giving you value, but I don't charge you. It is free of charge. So when you view something that is free of charge, you know, you begin to trust me, you begin to see me as an expert in the topic that I talk about. And when that relationship builds, you know, then it's easier to uh, uh, convince people, okay? So important is to use attraction marketing. So let me summarize for you what is attraction marketing, all right? Now, a lot of people outside there are using push marketing. They push to people. People don't like to be pushed. Let me ask you a question, right? Do you like people to push the messages, uh, promotional messages to you? I don't think so, okay? So you have to use 
attraction marketing rather than push marketing because attraction marketing is you are being hunted. That is important. Okay. Now, you have to bring the right people to you. Okay. And the right audience to you and also attract people by how you brand yourself. Important branding. Okay. Connect with the right audience and provide value to them and focus on them and their problem. Okay. Now, there are three areas that I covered here. Number one is your online presence. Number two, uh, capturing leads and using funnels as well. Number three, how does it help them? Okay. By doing all these things, you are seen as an expert. You provide value for free. And then you do postings, engagements, and even Facebook Live. Okay. So that's all my sharing for today. I hope that you learned something. If you like what you hear and see, please feel free to like, to share, and comment. I appreciate the time that you spend with me here uh, today uh, in Malaysia. It is already Friday. For those who are celebrating uh, Hari Raya, uh, tomorrow is Hari Raya. I wish you Selamat Hari Raya. Then. Okay. So I'll see you again for another session of my live video on Monday. So this is Richard Quack from Malaysia wishing you good night and goodbye.